Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful hot day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I got my button down on today. It is super, super hot. Today it was 91 degrees with about 88% humidity here in North Carolina. It was a roaster. So it's evening time now and it's a perfect time for me to get out here. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and we're going to plant some tomatoes right here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a late start on our garden this year. These are our garden beds, the raised beds that I put in a couple weeks ago. I'll post a link to the video where I did that at the end of this video. And uh, we milled that lumber right off the sawmill. It was super awesome. So let's get busy. We're going to drop the tiller from Everything Attachments. It's the ER62 tiller, roto tiller. And I've never tilled with this little tractor on this spot before. So it's gonna be interesting. That's a 25 horsepower tractor. And that tiller might be a little bit much for it. So let's have some fun here on the farm, planting some maters and some peppers. All right, woo! Woo! Stony Bridge. All right, guys, dad surprised me and gave me two boxes of San Martinez Roma tomatoes, man. They look super awesome. And these, I'll show you. These, dad says, are Thai chili peppers. They were planted 32821. So these guys need to go on the ground and they are actually starting to sprout some peppers on there, man. So super cool, super cool. We've got, man, like 30 tomato plants. We're gonna be overrun with tomatoes. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna show you how we can the tomatoes. We're gonna make tomato sauce. We're gonna make spaghetti sauce. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun in the kitchen soon. So let's talk about the machinery that we're gonna be using for tilling up the garden here and talk to you about rototilling, rototillers. That thing is awesome. When I first started gardening, I had a rear tine tiller. It was like a Troy built rear tine tiller. Then I got into the tractors. This little tractor is the TYM T254. It's a 25 horsepower Yanmar diesel four wheel drive tractor with a loader on it. We've got something super special in the loader up there and we'll show you that. We're gonna be spreading compost on this area before we till it. Now this is the ER062, the Everything Attachments tiller right here. And I've probably used it a total of an hour over the past four years. When you've got a rototiller, it doesn't take long and you guys will see, I'll probably hit this area and where we're gonna be tilling is kind of where this grass is. So you'll see there's like weeds and grass and stuff. No matter what, when you disturb the soil, you're gonna get weeds and grass. So the goal is to have all raised beds down here and I'm gonna build five more raised beds. So we're gonna start tilling right on the edge of this sawdust that I put down for weed control, which is a great idea, by the way. And we're gonna till all the way up through to the end of this box and I'm gonna fall in a hole that I, <laughs> I just stepped in a hole. Uh, you'll see this ground's pretty rough right here, but that tiller will smooth it out. Now, what's in the bucket? Let's see what's in the bucket. All right, guys, black gold. Not Texas tea, but you could make compost tea out of this. This stuff is super awesome. Look how black it is. We've got it in the top of every one of these uh, plant beds and these plants are absolutely exploding with growth. I'm gonna have to put some cages on those tomatoes. I've already got some about that big. Those are better boy tomatoes and that's yellow squash, straight neck yellow squash. So if you don't know it already, your local municipality, if they pick up leaf dander from the curb or grass clippings from the curb, you may have access to this. This stuff costs 20 bucks a pickup truck load for me, but some municipalities give it away for free. You just take your pickup or your trailer, go up there and man, you want to talk about making a garden grow. That will make it explode with growth. So first thing we're going to do is take little T, this is little T, and we're going to scoop up that compost. There's a pile back there and we're going to spread it out on here and then we're going to drop the tiller in the ground. Right on.
Guys, what an awesome little baby tractor. So you can see I dumped that compost out right here and then I flip the bucket down and put it into float mode and just back drug it all smooth. Now we're gonna run the rototiller through it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna kick some butt. I helped a neighbor out uh, about, I guess two or three weeks ago and tilled a spot that hadn't been tilled in years and it did pretty good. So we'll hit the RPMs up high, get that horsepower up and get her done. What a gorgeous job that rototiller did. If you're ever thinking about getting a rototiller for your tractor, pick one up, man. I'll, you'll never regret it. You'll absolutely never regret it. Look at that garden bed. So I haven't fertilized this area in, I guess, five or six years. All I've done is go in every year and put soil amendments in. Basically, put compost in, a little bit of rock dust uh, to, to get some minerals in there, uh, manure, all sorts of stuff. Anything but commercial fertilizer. And that's what my soil looks like. Look at this. Man, that's awesome. Now, if you're just tilling clay, understand that once it rains, and you've tilled clay, you've made concrete. So <laughs> you've got to put some amendments in there, wood chips, all sorts of stuff. Eventually your garden soil will mature and you'll never need to fertilize. So let's go ahead and we're going to get some tomato plants in the ground here. I think there's probably 30 tomato plants and about six pepper plants. And I'll show you how I plant the tomatoes and then how I water them for the first few days. Oh, look at this soil. It is time to get dirty, man. I'm going to be covered with the uh, compost. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. So these are the tomatoes. When you plant them in planters like this, basically all you have to do is reach in and scoop out a plant. We're going to start a row about right here because again, I'm going to build more planter boxes uh, for raised beds and probably plant some late tomatoes in those planter boxes later in the year. But I'll have them year after year and I'm using white oak, so it's really awesome. So let's dip our hand into the soil and show you guys how we pull a tomato plant out of a flat like this and how we put it in the ground. So go ahead and get your hole prepped. Go ahead and get everything ready to rock and roll. So we're going to go scoop out. Look at that. Oh man. We're going to scoop some of that gold out right there. And then we're going to grab one of our tomato plants. So I'm just going to reach right in and scoop up underneath it just like so. Okay. Just like that. And I've got my tomato plant. Holes a little bit deep, that's okay because if you bury a tomato plant up the stalk just a little bit, it'll be all right. It'll still set out roots. And this is what I like to do. I like to plant it like this. You see some of the grass debris in here. I like to put a little ring. I call it a water ring on the outside of the tomato plant. Just like that. We're going to do another one right over here and we're going to plant these probably anywhere from 18 to 24 inches apart. So I've got kind of a line as a frame of reference right here. I'm going to go, it doesn't have to be a perfect science, man. It doesn't have to be, oh, that's uh, 19 inches. It doesn't have to be that, okay? It does not have to be that. If you're really OCD, I guess it does. We could run a string line down here and uh, have a perfectly straight line, but I'm not too worried about that. So we're going to do a little hump right here, and then we're going to go right around that plant. We're going to pack that dirt down just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a watering wand, and I'm going to go around here, and I'll have a little pond, a little moat around each one of these tomato plants. So we've got some work to do. Let's get busy.
Well, that's about as straight as it's gonna get, man. It's getting dark on us here. This is the perfect time to plant your garden. So don't plant your garden in the early morning where it gets beat down with the hot, hot sun all day for the first day. When you put plants in the ground like this, you put them into shock basically. So you've got to let them recover. So they're in shock right now. And the way that we recover them is with a water hose. Now I went ahead and put the peppers in this plant bed with my watermelons. And I got a couple more tomato plants in there. I'm just having fun. This is what's in my plant beds. Watermelons, a uh, couple peppers, tomatoes, uh, better boys, better boys, yellow squash, and green peppers, yellow peppers, and red peppers down there in that bed. Awesome little garden. I hope this has given you guys some cool ideas. Get your hands in the soil, man. I'm telling you, there's something to this. It feels good to get your hands in the soil and do something like this. So let's show you the initial water and what I do once I've made my uh, tomato moat around each plant. I'll show you exactly what happens and eventually that tomato moat will go away. It won't be a hole right there, but for the first few weeks, you're probably gonna have to water them unless you get a bunch of rain. So I'll show you what we do. So we'll show you in the plant bed first. I just take this nozzle right here. This is a hose wand and I just take it and I go over each plant. I'll probably only have about 50 plants in the garden right now. So it's a manageable bunch of plants. And for our, whoop, got a little air in there. <laughs> for our new tomatoes, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'll show you. Um, you wanna water them pretty heavily. We'll hold this on there probably about nah, 45 seconds or so. Fill the moat, okay? So just like this. So right over the middle of the plant. Whoo, and fill up the moat. That's it. Fill up the moat. You see what it left? That'll slowly absorb over the next half hour or so. And do awesome. This applies for pretty much any plant that you put in your garden. We're gonna go all the way out and do this entire row. Kitty, hey kitty. All right, <laughs> that's it, we're done, man. Look at that, doesn't that look nice? Little T did a great job, pulled that tiller like a champ. 25 horsepower and a five foot tiller. It'll work, it'll work. It worked the tractor pretty good. Uh, this is Josh signing off, Stony Ridge Farmer signing off. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember, get dirty, it feels good, man. It just feels good. Pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. I'll post a link to building these beds uh, at the end of this video. Thanks a lot. I got dirty. Good time. Shower time. See y'all later. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here.